Uh, uh, Harry, I'm going to come to you first. So as, as, as the House puts together a strategy, how are you going to put together your evidence? What do you want to present to the Senate? Well, I think it's very clear that we need to focus on the the, uh, the liability and then we focus on the injury. I'm a trial attorney and that's the way I'm going to look at it. We look at the way that he violated the law. We present that in the fact that he has ignored immigration law. He has ignored what Congress has set down as, as being the requirements for the Secretary of Department of Homeland and Security. And then we look, talk about the impact that he has had on this country, the over 100,000 people that we have lost to fentanyl. We look at the impact impact on our schools. We look at what has happened with bringing 11 million illegal aliens into this country, and we talk about what's happened to our city. So really, I think it's, it's much simpler than a lot of people think, and I really look at it from the standpoint of liability and then injury. We look at his wrongdoing, and then we look at the damages that he's caused. Uh, Congressman Guest, do you even get a trial, though? The goal of the Democrats in the Senate is to truncate this proceeding as fast as possible, and that would maybe mean a rule change. And you do you even anticipate getting to a trial? You know, we're, we're hopeful that the Senate will do the right thing. I think if the Senate comes in and summarily dismisses uh, the articles of impeachment, uh, I think the American people uh, will hold the Democrats accountable. Uh, I think we need to follow the path that we saw uh, under Donald Trump, follow the path that we saw uh, under Bill Clinton. Uh, the articles of impeachment will be presented. The Senate will be sworn in. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas will be given a time period in which he can respond in writing uh, to the articles of impeachment. We have the opportunity to respond. Uh, they can extend that past uh, the appropriations deadlines of March 1st and uh, March the 8th, uh, and then we can begin a trial. But I think it's important that the American people see that this impeachment plays out just like the other impeachments that we've seen play out uh, over the last several years. And there's Democrat senators who are in tough re-election races this year, so it's not good politics to not let this trial go forward. But I wanted to move to, to this, getting your take on, uh, on this issue and what could only be viewed as an act of revenge and retribution because big baby Biden, he didn't get his border bill passed and instead got his DHS secretary impeached. Immigration and Customs Enforcement is now threatening to release thousands of illegal migrants into the interior to make up for a $700 million budget shortfall or so they say. Harriet, what is your take on DHS secretary potentially threatening to release all of these immigrants? Migrants. Well, again, you use the right word, which is ret retribution and revenge. Uh, and that's exactly what we're seeing from this administration. One of the points that I have made about this administration that is unlike any that we've ever seen before is it's almost as though we've got anarchy from the top. We have an administration that has, that, that has gone to war with the American people. Whether you are Republican, Democrat, or Independent, nobody believes that what's happening with our borders is how they should be managed. And so just simply threatening that they're going to release an additional hundreds of thousands of people into the interior of the country, they're already doing that. And the other thing that I think is very important for people to understand is Venezuela is emptying their prisons and sending those folks north. That's why we're seeing the, the incredible uh, crime waves in, in our big cities such as New York City. We are importing our own demise and it is because of Joe Biden and Mayorkas. They are violating the law. They need to be held to account. And that's what the American people want. Ironically, this was the reason, Congressman Guest, one of the reasons that Mayorkas was impeached is because that he directed the release of millions of inadmissible aliens into the country. He abused the statute following uh, allowing for parole and then oversaw, uh, oversaw more than 1.7 million paroles. This is Mark Green's editorial that was in the Wall Street Journal yesterday. But to Harriet, Congresswoman's point, the Biden administration intentionally inflicts societal and financial uh, suffering and hardship upon the American people for, because, well, for their own benefit. You know, you're exactly right. The, the crisis on the southern border was created by the fact that Secretary Mayorkas refuses to enforce the law. Uh, he refuses to detain inmates. Uh, and it is so ironic now that they are, being the Democrats, are saying because the bill in the Senate did not pass, they're going to have to close detention beds. If they're worried about funding detention beds, take up the appropriations bill that we passed out of the House that funds DHS. We funded 41,500 detention beds. Secretary Mayorkas only asked for 25,000. 
we funded a record number of custom and border patrol agents. And so it is so ironic for the Democrats to want to bring Republicans in saying that we are responsible for the lack of funding when they've had a bill in the Senate for months now that Chuck Schumer has refused to bring up and they are going to um, exacerbate the crisis that they created. No doubt about that. Uh, to the both of you, good luck on the impeachment if, this, if the trial actually happens in the Senate. We'll all be watching. Thank you for joining us on The Bottom Line. Thank you. Thank you.